terrorists, we're not no gangsters, we revolutionaries, and that's how we You gotta say the right things, Boosie. You can't keep throwing out this shit, man, and just throwing it out there, homie. I know you wild and you be on your shit at times, and it's cool, but certain things when we come on here and we speak to our people, bro, we gotta be able to get these people substance. We gotta get, when I say people, I mean the adults, the youngin', the youth, YGs, BGs, it don't matter, bro. We got to be able to give our people some substance, man. Something really to go on, something to really think on, man. Something to say, damn, you know what? He right or she right. We can't keep coming, getting on this internet, man, with this bullshit. Niggas want to get on here and argue, fake fight on the internet, have fake beefs on the internet just to get likes and shares and likes and numbers, man. I, I, that's, I think that's just some fake bullshit to me, man. I think the real shit, this is the crazy part about it is us individuals who produce real content and constantly put out real content, we are your competitors. And we got to compete against that bullshit. We got to compete against the buffoonery. We got to compete against the individuals who's on here fussing and arguing who gets all the attention because people seem to cling to the bullshit. Well, I'm going to have to wake you, you guys up this morning, or this afternoon, rather. I was just eating on my lunch back there, man. Clam chowder and white rice and, and uh, um, sauteing crackers, man. You feel me? That, that's my lunch today. Clam chowder and white rice, man, and Gatorade. But, um... It struck a chord, man, in my mind when I seen this video earlier this morning. And I said, man, I got to go on and talk about this to my people. I got to go and enlighten those who are not educated from a political standpoint and understand politics. I got to go in here and speak on this to those who did not go to school, who dropped out of the elementary. They missed junior high school and they missed high school because they taught us this shit in junior high school and elementary and high school. When it came down to politics, they taught us what veto mean. If you woke up Saturday mornings and you was an 80s baby, see, you, you millennium niggas wouldn't know nothing about this shit. Even you so-called millennium gangsters, you niggas who was in the pens and, and, and was born in the 90s and then went to the pens in the 2000s, you wouldn't know nothing about this. They taught us in the 70s and the 80s on TV. PB, uh, PBN television, Cartoon Network used to come on Saturdays. And they used to have this song called... Capitol Hill, where they sing about Capitol Hill, and Capitol Hill would explain the breakdown of bills, veto, legislator, how to file a bill, how to file a new law, all the above. They taught us this shit on the weekends. This is how I learned from my father, my parents, this cartoon, and school. So a lot of you dudes and women, y'all miss this shit. So you have no opinion to voice because you don't understand politics. You don't even have an opinion to be able to vote because you really don't understand politics. So what our people do, the first celebrity, the first face come on here and get paid for endorsements, we go with the fucking hype. We jump all over the hype, man. We jump all over the hype. So check this out, Boosie. Back to you real quick and moving along. I'm explaining this to you to break it down because you asked a question and I want to be able to provide it to you as double OG and give you your answer, homie. Boosie said, no, nah, my man. Oh, that's my gum. Just fell out of my mouth. No, nah, man. Uh, 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 uh. That fentanyl killing everybody. Killing all the go feeds. No, no, no. Bring back the crack. Yeah, bring, bring back the crack, man. No, nah, Boosie. We don't need no crack. We don't need no fentanyl. So I'm explaining to you why the fentanyl spread it like a wildfire, like a disease throughout America. When our so-called black savior was in office, right? President. See, you guys not knowing globally what's going on because you don't pay attention to the shit. You don't tune into the news and you don't tune into global news and you don't tune into the political aspect of things that's going on in life. So you don't worry about that shit. All you worry about is when the hype come, you jump on the hype. So when they voted Obama in office, as a black man and woman, we were all happy. Of course. But he ain't the first, if you would have did your homework and knew politics. He wasn't the first voted in black president, man. So now, all he was was an appointee, man. He was a stated appointee to put be put in office for several to eight years to shut our goddamn mouth. 
Shut them black niggers up. Okay, we, we got something for them. It's been a long time coming. We're going to put somebody in place so we can shut their asses up, man. And that's exactly what they did. So, so now, in the process of that, import, export. Who is our biggest, our biggest and our largest import, export that we depend on solely? And it's been like this for decades. Somebody pop up with the answer right now on the screen, man. Please, somebody. Who is the biggest, largest import, export that we're in, in conjunction with, bro? It's another country. China, man. China. We solely depend on them goddamn chinks over there, man. And they don't give a shit about America. They don't give a shit about USA at all, man. But we depend on them. So check this out, Boosie. During the situation when our savior was in office, we were in debt for billions, billions of dollars with China. China wanted their money. And we said, fuck ya. Fuck ya, fuck ya, fuck ya. We're not giving you nothing. And we shut down. China said, oh, okay. Oh, y'all want to play them games? All right. What they do, come 2020, after he got up out of office and he just decided they not going to pay them that money and they voted to say to pay in. And this is where the world went crazy. All you people who don't understand politics, when I say touche, two pay, I'm talking about Mr. Donald Trump himself, man, the billionaire, man, the assets. When they voted him in, why do you think America went and snatched that man and put him in office? He wasn't no born politician. He wasn't born to lead the world and lead America as a politician. That wasn't on his schedule and his agenda. That man was an entrepreneur. He knows numbers. With his goddamn eyes closed, that man knows our numbers, man. And he's great at it. He's a genius at it. He knows numbers, man. We watched him for a decade on Apprentices, man. Y'all got to understand this shit. We watched him on TV build millionaires for a decade, man. Then all of a sudden, he shift from there to rule our world, man. You feel what I'm saying? He shift from there to rule our world. So follow me. He was placed in office and voted in as an entrepreneur to go get America fucking ass out of debt. Not run the world and be the next greatest president. That wasn't his role. And what the fuck we do? We as blacks, most of us, jump on the bandwagon and listen to the bullshit and not understand it. Hey man, this shit was benefiting us overall, if you want to be technical, straight up. Some doors was open up for us Technically, if you want to be technical, overall, doors is opening up, bro, for the black culture, man, and, uh, and the Mexican and brown culture, and a whole lot of other cultures. But you don't understand that, because y'all was too busy based on the racism. Y'all was too busy listening to the fucking hype. Y'all was too busy listening to America put up a smoke screen and tell y'all this white man was solely racist. What damn white person ain't racist? What person, white person, don't got races in their blood or understand or some understanding of it at some point? Huh? You tell me. And that don't mean they got to act off of it, but they have an understanding about what's racism, man. Come on. So we put this entrepreneur in office, and what did he do? He went straight in. But let me go, let me go right back real quick to explain this to Boosie so I can keep going forward. So anywho, Boosie, the reason being the fit and all hit America like it did in the homie, was because we were in debt and China had a plan for our jackass. It's called guerrilla warfare. So China said, okay, all right, boom. They hit us with the motherfucking diseases. Boom, they shut the world down and hit us with corona. Boom, in the mix of that corona, imagine when the world goes on lockdown, then you turn around, you hit us with a fucking defense mechanism of drugs. You take all the black tar and heroin off the scenery. You take all the heroin off the scenery so that we would no longer have heroin addicts. And guess what? All the heroin addicts became graduate fentanyl addicts. That's why you see so many deaths, Boosie, because the Chinese integral plotted and cut that dope specifically to kill Americans. And if you don't believe me, Google it. 
It's there, man. Go find it. Do your research, TV Land. If you don't believe what I'm saying, if you think I'm crazy, go do your damn homework and do your due diligence and Google it. China deliberately integral plotted this shit and threw fentanyl in America. Ain't no goddamn fentanyl in China. Ain't no Chinese over there dying off no fentanyl and no crack and no drugs. They don't play that shit in that country, man. And in certain other countries, too. It ain't going on in them countries. Just dumbass, stupid ass, fucking America. Because we allowed it. Because the very one man who came in office and saved America and took our jackass out of debt. That's why you niggas got brand new cars. That's why y'all was walking around here looking like Nip, rest in peace, with your gold chains on and shit. Niggas ain't never had no money. Ain't never had gold chains. Women, guys, everybody got watches, cars, cell phone, iPhone. You couldn't afford that shit. But he opened them doors, and guess what? Y'all very same niggas he opened the doors to, y'all vote the man up out of here. Y'all want to boot him up out of here. And now look at us. Now look at us. China is threatening the shit out of us. China didn't dare threaten us two years ago. China didn't dare get out of line and was woofing that shit. Russia didn't get out of line and was woofing that shit. Korea didn't get out of line and was woofing that shit, man, two years ago, man, when Touche Toupe was in here. Because you know why? We had an individual that would fight back. We had a motherfucker say, what? Push the button if you want to. We're going to push all ours. We all die around this motherfucker then. And that's what we need. You got to meet aggression with aggression sometimes, man. You can't talk and negotiate like this ugly, fake-ass motherfucker that y'all call president right now, ugly-ass Putin. He's not a president, man. He's the devil. And he took this goddamn country down, man. And we steady sinking, man. Who is this trying to tap in with me? Let me see right quick, man. Who is that trying to tap in with me? I don't know who that is. So yeah, so so it's like, bro, we got to understand, we got to understand as the people and be able to make your own discretion and your own decisive decisions on what's going on when it comes to the world globally, man. People are not paying attention. Y'all on this internet watching fights, watching these hoes shake their ass, stick their titties out, and I, I, I don't get it for the life of me. I just got restricted on one of my pages. Talking about, oh, you restricted, uh, uh, you violated the guidelines. I'm going, for responding back to one of my people saying I appreciate it or saying, what's up? How the fuck is that a restriction? So that's why I say I don't care about this media shit. When they shut me down or whatever they're going to do to me, it's gone. Because I'm not going to be going back and forth with this shit, man. I'm here for my people. And they got a problem with me passing the word to my people, then oh well, man, I don't give a damn. I don't live off this shit. Yeah, we get our money off of it, like everybody else. We get our funds off of it, but nigga, I don't live off of it and depend on it. And neither do Uncle Spliff. We do this shit for real, for real, man. For the people, by the people, to the people. That's why we don't clout chase. We don't be all on other niggas' pages, just jumping on every and anything, trying to create problems with dudes, man. We don't do none of that shit. We're in our own lane, bro. Niggas is biting off of us. Cast is steady copying and mimicking what we do. They, they they bite off my edits, my editorials, everything that I put out and produce. Niggas is biting. And that's cool. They just show me that, you know, I'm setting trends. I'm leading like I'm supposed to, bro. That's okay. Feel me? But listen, man, you guys need to really, really, really start studying, man, and get your ass in some books and read, man, about politics or, or do your researching, man, and stop jumping on the hype and on the buzz wagon, man, real quick. Let's listen to something. I want to hear. I want y'all to hear something. I know it. You know it. Everybody knows it. This is it. Either they win or we win. He told us. And if they win, we no longer have a country. Our enemies are lunatics and maniacs. They cannot stand that. They do not own me, I don't need them, I don't need anything about them, I don't need their money, they cannot steer me, they cannot shake me, and they will never ever control me, and they will never ever therefore control you. All right, EBMG, oh I didn't know that was you, uh, come on back on again man, I buzz you in, uh, uh, EB, I mean ABMG, buzz back in, I tap you in man. Hi there, they win. Or we win. And if they win, we no longer have a country. Listen, Our enemies man. are lunatics and maniacs. They cannot stand that 
They do not own me, I don't need them, I don't need anything about them, I don't need their money, they cannot steer me, they cannot shake me, and they will never ever control me, and they will never ever therefore control you. This is the final battle. They know it, I know it, you know it, everybody knows it. This is it. Either they win or we win. Uh, the day we, we, we no longer have a country. No longer have a Our country. Our enemies are lunatics and maniacs. They cannot stand that they do not own me. I don't need them. I don't need anything about them. I don't need their money. They cannot steer me. They cannot shake me. And they will never, ever control me. And they will never, ever, therefore, control you. Talk to him, Touche. Talk to him. So, yeah, America. I know a lot of y'all probably talking under your breath because you don't even understand. And it's okay. That's why I said, voice your opinion. I want to hear your opinion. I want to hear your thoughts on this. You feel me? Voice your opinion. It's okay. You want to cuss me out? That's okay, too. I'm, I'm, I'm cool with it. I'm comfortable because I understand. I know what's going on. You feel me? That's why I, I build me dungeons. I, you know what I mean? I got a land. I got a land I'm living on and standing on, nigga. Yeah. I'm building protection for me and mine, man. Yeah, as people sit here with the bullshit, I got a plan. I got a game plan, like the white folks do, the Chinese do, the Koreans, the Asians, you feel me, the Mexicans, everybody else but our dumb asses, but not this black dumb ass right here. I got a plan, like everybody else, nigga, and I'm moving on it already. So I advise you, you, you great men out there in the world, man, who, who run your household, you great men out there of independent structure, who's independent, man, and you got your own, you own your own, homie, you better start revamping and build, man. Get ready for the worst to come, man. Build. Build, man. That's all I'm going to tell you. Build, man. Yeah. Build, man. If you think bunkers aren't necessary, you think shelters aren't necessary, you think underground dungeons aren't necessary in your homes, then you're stupid as fuck. You're as stupid as fuck if you think this shit is not necessary. Build, man. When I say build, you need to have a home under your goddamn home, man, for survival, bro. That's where we going with it. I'm telling you, and I'm telling you right now, man. Do your homework, man. Y'all paying attention to the wrong shit. Y'all not, not watching what's going on globally. You're not hearing what's going on globally until it hits you in your face, until it hit the news. Just like the Nashville shooting. If that stuff wouldn't have hit the news the way it did as an all-point bulletin right in the air, people wouldn't even know nothing about it. And people still don't know nothing about it. They probably like, well, what cap talking about? Nashville shooting. Go on the internet right in there and look it up because you didn't even know. It's going to show you. You're not even aware of what's going on. Your surroundings and none of that, man. We sleep. We blind, man. Mr. Chad Butter, what it do? Maki Media in the building. But yeah, man. We sleep, man. And for those who don't know, man, you've been tapped in, man. You've been struck by lightning bolt, man. ROE, man, 2023, man. Split DTV, man. We in the building, man. We are the dynamic dude, man. And today, man, we talk about politics, man. I'm talking about my boy, man. Touche, toupee, man. If we'd have left that man in office for eight years, I assure y'all, the prediction that he gave America before he left and before he got in, when he told us, he said, okay, if you vote him in, meaning that ugly dude, Booten, the devil, if you vote him in, you guys are going to be paying $15 for gas when it's all over and said and done. Man, everything that man predicted that was going to happen, happened. Everything that he set up, this fool came behind him and tore it all down. Look at the borders. Look how wild our fucking borders is. We got so many fucking illegal foreigners and illegal immigrants that flooded this country to where there's no opportunities for the people who've been here all their damn life, man. And if you don't understand that, then you're a jackass. And that's what Touche Touche was hollering, man. That's what he was stipulating. And there was nothing wrong with that. That's just like if you grew up in Europe all your life. You don't want America invading Europe and coming over to Europe and getting all the jobs and getting all the opportunities. Same for the Ukraine, Russia. Nigeria, uh, 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 China, all the above. So all the major factor companies, all the four factors have congregated and come together, bro, to where they're about to take away currency. Because they hate USA, man. They hate America. They hate this country because this funky-ass country has dogged out major, major countries for hundreds and hundreds of years, man, by take, 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 take. And look who suffered, us. 
the, the people who live in this funky ass country who are considered as American. I ain't no fucking American. Yeah, I was born in this shit and, and I was bamboozled and I was told that, but fuck America. This country, she don't care nothing about us, y'all. Nothing about none of us. It don't protect its own. None of that. Man, we be we, we doing 100 years in your own country for nothing. You feel me? They ain't doing 100 years in this damn country for nothing. It's like, bro, you got to understand the world we live in and the situation that we're in as humans. You feel me? It's third world countries, bro, that people do not have none of the problems that we have right here in USA. And we feel like we got it the best. Yeah, we, we, we got a lot of privileges. We have a lot of opportunity, a lot of privileges that other countries don't have. Yes, we do. Like, for example, ain't no bombs being dropped right here in the inner city. We ain't waking up to, to actual war in our streets where bombs are being dropped in. Not just yet. Not just yet. But keep on. Some of us going to keep living, be living and live around and see it happen. Keep on. Because China is already telling us this. And they ain't fucking around. Because they know. They threat who was there, he gone. Dumb Americans put him up out of there like jackasses. So we got action to go smash now. Because Trump is not right there now. Touche, too pain in our way. And China know this shit. That's why they whooping on us. That's why they barking on us and they whooping on us, man. Think about it, man. For those who was aware when, when, when Touche went over there and was checking the shit out of, out of the president of China, man, and checking uh, uh, Budamore and all them niggas over there, man, and checking them, they wasn't whooping shit to that man. That man fucked around and went and renegotiated certain situations and renegotiated on the money perspective with these countries. And they was bound down, coming with collaboration. We damn near had China right here. They take him out of office, man. And China said, oh, okay. And they went to work on our jackass. And they still going to work. And they going to work on top of work on top of work. They got these goddamn, they got hundreds and hundreds and thousands and thousands of automatic fucking, um, oh, I'm tipping my tongue. Um, shit, 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 shit. The things that fly in the air man the, the film film everything now the um oh man excuse me tv land for losing my thought they have hundreds and hundreds of thousands of these in china that they built right guess what's in them chemicals chemicals explosives that each one of these that drop can kill up to 20 30,000 civilians man i'm gonna say this again each one of these projections man each one of these um these um projectiles that fly in with this chemical this, this embedded inside their cameras, right? It explodes. And just that chemical alone would kill 20 to 30,000 civilians, man. Do your homework if you think Bonnie Hunter BJ crazy. Google it. Look it up. Everything I'm talking about today, do what I did. I sit back and I watch China. I listen to the news, worldwide news, globally, daily, for hours. I do the opposite of what you niggas don't do on this internet. I don't play their internet. I come on here, build my content, do my work, and I'm gone. Besides that, when I get on here, I'm watching what's going on in the world globally, man, because I need to know. I need to know. I need to understand. I need to be educated on it so I can educate minds, so I can protect minds. So I need to know. So I'm heavily, heavily on my shit, period, point blank, bottom line, man. On that note, man, listen, for all those tapped in and tuned in, man, you've been tapped in, man. You tuned in to Rules of Engagement 2414, man. If you haven't subscribed, push that like, share button, man. Go on over there to my page, man. Look up Rules of Engagement 2414. Rules of Engagement 2414. If you have a problem in the search bank looking up Rules of Engagement, all you got to do is hit BonnieHunterBJ.com or BonnieHunterBJ. Everything will pop up, man. Everything will pop up. Just hit BonnieHunterBJ in my search bank and everything will pop up, man. Or go to my link tree in my bio right here in my IG. Go right to my link tree. Hit that link tree. All my sites, all my pages will pop up, man. I appreciate everybody for tapping and tuning in, man. But I had to come on here and share this topic today, man. Also, I had to, you know, stipulate that for Boosie, man, to give Boosie an understanding and let Boosie know why this fitting all hit America the way it hit it because he ain't the only one don't know. A whole lot of y'all don't know out there. I just schooled a whole, a whole communities of America right now how fentanyl came about. The Chinese dumped it on our jackasses. They shipped that over here. 
They ship that shit over here on ships and they show you their power. Somebody tell me right now on the internet, whatever state you in, go find some dog food. Tell me where you can go find you some dog food at right now. Some black tar, some heroin, or some China white. I wait. I wait. Somebody go tell me right now in your hood, right now. I'm gonna watch, nigga. I'm from where we had it all. The projects, nigga. Nixon Garden, the Jordan Downs, the PJs, High Center. The best of the best drugs, nigga, we done had it from the 60s to the 70s to the 80s. You ain't finna find no, no black tar nowhere in the state of America, man, right now. Guarantee you. Not no black tar that somebody would have made it from America. But black tar and China white imported and exported from China, the shit that was coming from China, the shit that's grown and produced in China, China shut it down. They shut all exports down. And slid that infinite, that fentanyl in here. Say, no, no, we're switching the import and export to this fentanyl. And then we cut this fentanyl where the motherfuckers are like, they're gonna lose their teeth, their bones gonna shatter, their cheekbones gonna cave all in, their eyeballs gonna sink, they're gonna lean over like dope fiends. Soon they hit it, they're coming right back to get more. Every time they hit it, they come right back to get more. Unlike crack, used to hit crack, the crackheads go, like Boosie say, they go steal, nigga run track, nigga do. 2,000 push-ups off some crack, man. You feel me? A nigga who used to be swole, nigga look like he swole again because he didn't get to work it out. All the above because it was speed. Crack had speed in it. So they changed the chemicals. They changed the embellishment on the chemicals with this drug fentanyl, man. Just go do your homework and look it up, man. It'll tell you the same thing I'm telling you guys. Them Chinese is cold, boy. They ain't no joke. They ain't never been no jokes, man. Never. You feel me? So America, your jackasses better wake up, man. And to all the warriors out there, to all the real true men, true fathers of your household, man, restructure your household, man. Rebuild, man. Get on your shit, man. I'm telling y'all right now. Rebuild. My advice, get you some land, niggas. Stop fucking your money off. Stop tricking your bullshit money off these hoes. And you better rebuild, man, and go invest and get you some land. Nigga, grab your acre or two or something, nigga. Yeah, I'm sitting on nine. Go get your acre or two. But you better stop playing out here, niggas, because it ain't no game, man. Yeah. Don't know they got to come out here and be wearing jewelry and, and Rolex. Watch out. Did it all. Did it all with the best of the best. Still got pieces. Don't know they got to come out here and prove itself, to show itself to society, to make itself look like, oh, he getting his money, he got money. It don't make a difference to what a nigga think about me over here. I don't give a shit. I'm living my life. I'm living my life to the fullest. And I get it. So it don't matter. Be smart, man. Be wise, man. On that note, man, I'm out here, man. Y'all already know what it did, what it did. <laughs> Y'all already know what it do, man. We in the building, man. Split D T V, man. ROE, man. Rules of Engagement 2023, man. I'm your host, man. Bonnie Hunter BJ, the brand, CEO, Nino Cappuccino, man. The big mighty W, man. Watts. W A T T T S. We are talk to survive leave them comments man them opinions man i love those who love me man i support those who support me man